Welcome to Loveless Academy. Today is the module 6, Building Smart Contracts on Cardano. Okay, now we're gonna run this, uh, this command here. Uh, there, there is a setting here, a variable that you need to set. Uh, this is like permanent data that you uh, can store anywhere in your machine. I'll point to the current folder, but you can point to anywhere. And we need also to set this variable here, socket path. So we can store the Cardano node socket and use that in Cardano CLI in another command that we're gonna do after that. Here also need to set this variable to the environment. Uh, as you know, we have some environments um, um, in Cardano. You can see all environments uh, with a special command. Uh, that I will show you, but for our example, uh, you can just use preview here. We need to pass this nix run, and this is gonna run this tool here called std. Uh, we are using this because this Cardano role uh, is set to work with this uh, CLI tool. So what we are just uh, running that tool uh, without installing anything. So you can just run that you with that command here using nix. It's gonna download the tool and, and, and run the CLI. We need to pass some options to that CLI. And we, we, we do that with this dash dash uh, in, in the terminal. Uh, it basically means that uh, I'm passing options to this tool here, CLI tool here, and not to Nix. So because we have options for Nix, uh, and we have options for the uh, this STD tool, we need to have a way to to say to tell that uh, I am actually passing an option for Nix or for this STD, so that's the reason why we use this dash dash uh, signer here. After that, we need to pass a specific domain here to that STD STD tool, and this like an address to what we're gonna build or what we're gonna run uh, on that on that tool called STD. I'm basically passing here that address here. Cardano slash entry point slash Cardano node dash Cardano node and run. And basically means that we're, we're looking for for Cardano node entry point and we, we want to run that endpoint in our machine, right? And this is gonna do everything. You don't need to do you don't need it to do anything else. It's gonna set up everything, it's gonna uh, open a Cardano node on your machine. You don't need you don't need Docker, you don't need anything else, just Nix to be able to use that. Like I said before, uh, you can see the available environments and even all other entry points and other tools available on this Cardano world, uh, just removing our options of this STD. Uh, if you try to just run this command here, let me show you. If you run just this command here, this is gonna show you, you um, a nice user interface that you can uh, see the list of all available address and things that you can run on that Cardano Road repository. This is the Cardano Road repository. Um, this is part repository that has a lot of tools and the full settings for Cardano blockchain. It has a Cardano node, it has all Muse tools, it has many other tools that we normally use uh, many times to build transactions, submit transactions, and so on. So in this case, we're gonna use Cardano node and Cardano CLI to build a transaction, push that to the blockchain. So I have the repository here. Let me show you the commit. Uh, this is the commit that I'm using. So if you're struggling with something, you can exactly the version that I'm using here. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do here is to run this command here, this STD. Is this STD? Is this standard that this Cardano World repository is using? That is, that is this tool here called STD, which uh, can read everything in this repository because it follows this convention and can list to us all available tools here on this repository. So I use this STD tool. So I don't need to install anything. I'll just run that straight from GitHub using this uh, this path here. And we're gonna pass an option to that, which is list. So we can see everything available here in this repository that we can maybe run uh, 
and the, the guy we're looking for is actually Cardano node. So here's everything. So there are a lot of things here. And uh, the guy we're looking for is Cardano node. So we have this Cardano node here. So we can just run that. But actually, uh, yeah, that's that that's the one. We have a package uh, for Cardano node here somewhere. Let me see. Package. We have a Cardano node here. Uh, and we can build that Cardano node. We would do that because actually we would do that for Cardano CLI. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do here is to run an entry point, which is the same entry point of Docker image. So we can run that inside of a Docker image, uh, but I I don't recommend to because it's going to be more going to be harder to use Cardano CLI. I just try to run the 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 endpoint here. Uh, and the endpoint is on here. Or the endpoint is that one. So to run that, we just need to pass to this to this tool here the address. So I'm gonna just paste here. So when I don't when I do that, I'm gonna run a Cardano node. But there are some settings that we need optionally pass to that Cardano node. And we pass those options through variables. So we need to set those variables. We could, we can also pass those options using some options here, but let's use the, the variable, which is easier. Uh, you can see everything inside of this entry point using this folder here. We can take a look here, Cardano. It has the entry points folder, entry points here. And you can see here in these entry points that we have some variables for that Cardano node. You see there are many variables that we can define to run this Cardano node. And the ones that I'm going to use is um, data D to define a data folder where the, the, the blockchain data is going gonna, gonna to be stored. Uh, and we need to do that because we need to have a Cardano node running to, to use CLI against this Cardano node, you know. There's no way up so far that I, I am aware of. Uh, there is no way to connect to a remote Cardano node using Cardano CLI. That, that's the tool that uh, can handle uh, smart contracts in Plutus. Uh, we need to have a local node, but the good side is that uh, the preview network is not so big, so it's not going to take so much time to to sync that, you know. I will also use this socket path and this environment. So I'll set both variables here. And we need to set that, that socket path. I'm going to use just a local file here. And we need to have this socket because we need to use that to in, in Cardano CLI command to tell where the, the server is located. And the environment variable, we need that because the Cardano node is going to uh, get, this, this Cardano ent node entry point is going to get the config files using this variable. So if I do not set that, it's going to probably use the wrong network. So you can see the, the available environments because uh, we can see the, the list of that in address here environment you see we have mainnet p2p pre-production preview and so and so on uh, any of those environments can be used here as environment here and that's it i guess with that we can just get up a cardano node so we're gonna run this and be right back so we have this cardano node running here and uh, it has synced a lot. So you can see uh, if it uh, it's up to date with the blockchain because it's gonna sync with other nodes. So you have the special command for Cardano CLI to query uh, the state of the, 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 the Cardano node if it's in sync with the blockchain. Uh, we can try to run that and we're gonna do that here. Um,
So I run that command again to see the list of available tools here. This one, I'm gonna use this list command, right? And the one we're looking for is the the Cardano CLI. So we have this Cardano CLI here. You can just copy and paste the the address here for that. can use this build one and um, you're gonna run that again and we're gonna pass this address here right so the idea is to have this Cardano CLI tool I didn't found our run so like we could run that straight here so we need to build that and use the artifacts from that uh, to execute the Cardano CLI. Let's do that. So I guess this created something here. So this created this um, folder here, result, having a binary Cardano CLI that we can use. So I can just call that result pin Cardano CLI. And you're going to see there are some options here that you need to pass to this Cardano CLI. And we're going to declare two variables here that we're going to use to run this Cardano CLI. Um, the first one is the socket path, right? This is used by default uh, when you're running Cardano CLI. It's going to look for that variable to, to get where the Cardano node is. And the second one is uh, the magic number, which is just a static number. Uh, that is generated for each um, network. You can see the this number on environment. You can try to run this std command and uh, environment. You're gonna see there is this test magic there, but it's fixed for preview. It does not change anytime. So this is the magic number, right? And we're gonna need because we're gonna need to pass that again and again to the CLI. It's gonna help input that typing that. Uh, many types. Uh, now we're going to create the wallet address we're going to use, right? The first command we're going to run is this CLI address build and we need to pass the address to a uh, public key. Uh, actually this one, yeah, we need to generate the keys for that wallet. So a public key, key in, and a secret key, a private key. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call the verification key I'm gonna say this is V key, a wallet dot V key on the on this folder. Private key is gonna be wallet uh, s dot s key, right? So let me create that 